Now, I told you that the 32-bit public IP address space has been exhausted, so what do we do? For instance, at home, if you do an IP config or an IF config to look at your home computer's IP address, chances are it's an address that starts with 192.168. In Request for Comments 1918, we have defined ranges of reserved private addresses that cannot be routed. Routers will not pass these packets out onto the internet. So whenever you see an address that starts with 10, or an address that starts with 172.16 or up to 172.31 or finally an address that starts with 192.168 we're talking about private non-routable addresses so yes that does bring in overhead because when you think about it your home cable modem router is going to have one and only one publicly routable IP that you're being leased by your internet service provider but then you might have 15 hosts inside your home between your game console and your smartphone phones and your computers. So there has to be some kind of network address translation between the private address and the public address. And that's actually the case, but we don't need to talk about that now. Now link local addresses, or as Microsoft calls them, a PIPA, automatic private IP addresses, is yet another reserved range that is used as a way such that if a computer cannot get an IP address from say a dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP server, the network interface will auto assign sign address in the range of 169.254 with a 16-bit subnet mask. You might have noticed that in the past. If you can't connect to the internet, you do an IP config and you're thinking, well, how in the world did I get this 169.254 address? That's an auto-assigned address. And what's neat about that is that, number one, it at least keeps your TCP IP stack alive. But number two, it also allows that host to communicate with other hosts on the same network segment because, once again, we're using the same network network address portion for all the hosts on that segment. 